I think that spirituality is kind of a funny word because it seems to mean something different to everyone. I think that everyone kind of has their own version or definition of spirituality and I want to share what mine is. For me, spirituality is believing in something greater than myself, believing that I am a part of a bigger picture, like we are all one and my energy affects the energy of the people that I meet and that I come in contact with and everything that I do in the world because we are all one. This definition can seem pretty abstract. It basically. For me, spirituality means being able to connect to something outside of myself and knowing that I also have the power and the strength to create whatever kind of life that I want and that I am supported and I am loved and I am appreciated and respected by something more than I can even begin to understand whether some people believe that's God or the universe. It's all just having trust and faith in something larger and bigger than yourself and also feeling that you have the ability to create your own destiny, create your own dream and that you are always supported and loved throughout the process of creating or manifesting your dream life. The way that I tune into my spirituality is really involved with nature. So that's just getting outside, getting out in nature and being with plants and in the forest. Good girl. Being able to sit still in silence and appreciating the seasons and the change of the seasons and just life cycle and grow. Trying to live in alignment with those natural cycles, the moon phases and season. Everything has energy. This energy affects you. Spirituality also means love. Just experiencing that true, unconditional, non-judgmental love that is really pure and comforting. I practice spirituality by using tarot, doing little rituals around the wheel of the year, which is basically just celebrating the phases of the year and the changes that nature goes through, and also doing new moon rituals, full moon rituals. To me, spirituality also means being open and compassionate and having respect for all living beings, all living creatures, whether that's plants, animals, other humans, and also for yourself. And next to me right here is my cat, Tron. Here he is. And animals are really important to my spirituality as well because I really connect to animals and that helps me connect to the love and the trust. There was a time where I was, as I mentioned, really embarrassed about doing this kind of stuff and I'm really grateful for these spaces online and I'm really grateful to be able to share what I do with other people who maybe are feeling weird or misunderstood spirituality really means something different to everyone and as long as your intentions are pure and from love i don't see how you can go wrong since embracing my spirituality and my natural gifts and just being proud of who i am and how i want to express myself i have developed my strong connection with animals and I work as an intuitive dog trainer and cat behaviorist and I help other spiritual or witchy pet owners and animal lovers form deep connections and effective communication with their familiars or their animals. 
to provide the best quality of life that they can for those animals. And I just want to end this little video with a really quick meditation on connecting with the earth and animals. You can think of a specific animal in your life or your favorite wild animal or any animal that you wish. So get in a comfortable position and take a few deep breaths and let's get into the meditation. Once you're in a comfortable position with your spine straight, your chest open, focus on whatever part of your body is touching a surface, the floor, a chair, a bed. Focus on your feet that are on the ground and take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold the air and then slowly release it through your mouth. Another deep breath in, holding the air at the top and slowly releasing. Continue this process. Deep breath in through your nose. Breathe in all the air that you can, as much as you can, until you can't breathe in anymore. Holding the air, and then slowly letting the air out. Big deep breath in, and as you breathe in the air, imagine you're breathing in love and joy and happiness. And you're breathing that in with the air, and those feelings are flowing through your body as the air flows through your body. And then when you release the air, you're releasing any feelings or any thoughts that you no longer want, that no longer serve you, that are no longer important. And you're just breathing in the good and exhaling everything else. This happens every time you breathe. Now focus on the top of your head, relax your forehead, continue to take deep breaths in, sending the air to the parts of your body that need to relax. Relax around your eyes, all the little muscles in your face, relax your jaw, let your shoulders drop down away from your ears. Deep breath in and let it all out. Keep your spine straight up and your chest open, but your shoulders relaxed, your jaw, your neck, your whole face relaxed. Moving down your body, your stomach is relaxed, your hips your legs, your knees, your ankles, and your toes. Your whole body is receiving that healing air and releasing everything else, anything else. Deep breath in and exhale. Pouring down over top of you is this beautiful light. It's shimmery and sparkly. It's calming and peaceful and it's falling down from the sky over top of you like a waterfall. Perfect temperature, comforting, relaxing. Following down on your head, down your shoulders, down your back covering your whole body surrounding you. And now I want you to think of that animal, maybe a pet or an animal that has passed and is no longer with you, maybe your current dog or your cat, or maybe all the animals that have ever touched your heart Focus on that animal's face, their coloring. Look into their eyes. 
their whiskers, their fur, the soft, comforting. Imagine looking into their eyes and the energy that you feel when you are around them. The love, the trust, the laughter, the joy, motivation, inspiration, excitement, everything that is inside of you when you think of this animal, when you think of your love for this animal. And as you do this, your chest, a beautiful green light in your chest starts to flow out of you. And this beautiful green light coming out of your chest is love. And it's surrounding you in a bubble, a bubble of green light surrounding you, a bubble of love. You are surrounded by love. You give yourself love and you give anyone and everyone else that comes in contact with you and your bubble, true love. Sit in this for a second. How does it feel to be loved? To be surrounded by love, warm, comforting, peaceful, accepting, safe, protected, important, valuable, desired, respected, appreciated, cherished, loved. You are love. You give love and you receive love. And this green light beautiful, green, calming, peaceful, healing light that is surrounding you and the light that is still falling down on top of you, that sparkly, gold, silver, shiny, white, pure light that's coming down from the sky, it's mixing with this green light. And the more it mixes with the light, the love that comes from you, your bubble gets bigger and bigger and now it's filling your whole house. That light is even leaking out from the doors and the windows of your house, of the building that you're in. And it's spreading across the whole world, across the whole universe. It's touching all the people, all the animals, all the things that you love, all the things that you desire, that you want to bring into your life, the people, the animals, the experiences. It's touching all of that and connecting you to the earth and to everyone else in the earth, in the universe. Your light is so powerful you can send it anywhere you want. Think of other people, other animals or plants in the world that you want to touch with your love, with your healing, beautiful light. And send it to them. Take a deep breath in and exhale, releasing any tension in your body, letting all your muscles feel loose again. Another breath in and exhale. Now imagine that animal again. What is it about this animal you admire? Their bravery, their strength, the love that they share, the joy they bring, the laughter they bring. What is it that you love? Their playfulness, their silliness, their determination, their strength, their intelligence. 
and they're sending that quality to you, to your heart, to your chest, to your body. It fills you up. Imagine yourself absorbing it like a sponge. They're giving it to you. They want you to have it and you accept it easily. You are that quality. It's in you now. Another deep breath in and let it out. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Thanks for watching and listening to my experience and my opinions on spirituality. And I hope to connect with you all again. Bye.